Hey what's up guys, it is Psycho Sam here and I hope you're all having a beautiful Friday so far. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the new 3D game kit released by Unity and talk about how you can actually download it for completely free as well. And if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like down below, all the thumbs ups are super super appreciated. And if you want to stay up to tune for new videos like this, hit the subscribe button and join our notification squad by the way by clicking that little bell icon. Now with that being said, let's check out this kit. So as you guys know, back in February, they released a 2D game kit which is available on the asset store for completely free. And now the masterminds are actually back with a brand new kit where they basically use the 2D kit's art as an inspiration for creating a fully working 3D game and a project that you can take and develop your games off of. And now time for some personal information about Saiku that you were literally begging for for days. I know you guys care about me. I finally have no mouth source, at least for the moment. I don't know if it's permanent. It. I hope it's permanent, but it's not going to be, so I'm <laughs> a little bit sad for that. But for now, at least, I can talk very clearly in these videos, and I am so, so very happy for that. So thank you, my own body, I guess. I just jinxed myself, didn't I, by the way? <laughs> but now back to the video. We're obviously going to take a look at this asset in depth and see what you can create with it. But for now, let's begin by the basics. So first and foremost, how do you get this? So you can download it through the link that I am going to leave in the description, of course, for completely free. And note that this this project is actually intended for Unity 2018.1b13 and above, so I suggest you download the latest version of Unity Beta for this actually because I was personally having a little bit of trouble getting this to work with a earlier version of the beta, so make sure to download the latest one, that's what I'm using and I can prove that it's working. By the way, it's also great to have a completely empty project for this to work because obviously it's going to, you're importing an entire project with this, so whenever you do so, it's going to overwrite your current project settings as well. So if you're making a game inside of a project, make sure that you create a new empty project and then import this asset. After importing the pack, you should also close down Unity, the editor itself, and relaunch the project with the same version of Unity. This will initialize the package manager and clear errors in the project, in their words. Basically, uh, I'm just going to make it easier for you. So it will basically import all the missing assets, such as the Cinemachine asset, per automatic, which is pretty cool because you don't have to do it manually. Unity has also included a few tips for you getting on with the project so you can get started really quickly, alongside information for bug reports you might want to submit, which is super appreciated by their side. And I will link that full form thread in the description for that to be done. Now you might be asking like, why did Unity put so much resources into making something like this? Well, it's because the entire project itself is pretty much built for anyone beginning their game development journey in Unity and for designers and artists to get started with game development without actually coding. So you're gonna be able to find a set of gameplay elements, tools, and systems that can be used without additionally coding so you can use those for your own projects and also see how they're all created so you can also learn on the same go. As you can see in the video right now they have also made an example game by using everything that is provided in the asset itself which is fully playable Although it's still beta, so don't forget that. So there are some, you know, performance issues every now and then, but it's not it's not game breaking. Like you're still gonna be able to play the game and see how it is all created. Unity also very specifically states that this is made for people to get more familiar and comfortable using their engine. And this can also still be used by an intermediate Unity developer, artist, or designer, or whatever, right? And if you would like to see how they handle their code, art, and and build the core structure for a publishable game, you can definitely check out this kit. Now, if you go a little bit more in depth to the kit itself, they have also included a main menu, loading screen, and an options menu with fully working sliders for controlling the volume of different sources, displaying input settings, and even more. You also have an option for restarting level when you die in the game, and these are all nice to include from their side because I know from my experience from my YouTube channel that a lot of people ask for a settings menu, like a tutorial for that and such. And I think this will be very helpful for those in need of something similar for their own games. I also love the fact that Unity is getting more and more into game like making games now and not just developing the game engine because it's all true proof of what can actually be done in unity and the fact that there are no limits or constraints for
for anybody. Even if you're using Unity Personal, there are no limits for you. You can still create whatever kind of game you want to. And that's that's something that a lot of people have been missing out on, you know, previous or past few years now, past decade, I guess. Um, and I, I love the fact that Unity is getting into this even more now because it's all true and raw proof that, hey, we made this game. It's available for free, completely free on the asset store so that you can download it, check it out for yourself and even play the game and make something similar. So speaking of the game, <laughs> I also want to mention, like like I said before, there are some FPS drops every now and then, some spikes. Um, so I would strongly suggest you to lower your graphics settings while playing the game <laughs> because it will be very helpful. And it's actually even suggested on the forum thread for this very project, which I'm once again going to link in the description. So make sure to not miss out on that uh, because you're going to be able to experience the game a lot more smooth. So as you can see on the screen right now, the entire game is actually built by using simple systems that are created in Unity which you can use to prototype your own projects as well. Um, for instance, for this destructible ruin that we have here, which is like a little cube, the, it has events such as what will happen on this object's death. Like, will it destroy itself? Will it just die off, spawn any other objects or something like that? And the same goes for dealing damage to this object as the player and so on. And that all makes it very easy for designers and artists to get into game development and also understand the code behind it and if you're obviously interested in going even more you know in depth to the code itself you can check out the source code and see and learn how it is actually created so you can now go ahead and download the kit itself play around within the game example that follows and even build your own levels see how to create a similar game like this and just have fun enjoy yourself enjoy the package enjoy unity which is what game development is all about anyway right i am personally enjoying the game kit so much and i even plan on using some of the assets for making a level design in this style like the rocks the vegetation especially i also want to hear your opinion though what do you think of this will you be using it to check out how a game like this can be made and created if you're an artist do you find something like this helpful i feel like unity puts a lot of effort into making everyone feel comfortable with the engine obviously it's not going to be everyone but they're just trying to reach out to a broad set of people and be like hey this engine is free to use and you can use it for creating whatever you want no matter your background and that is pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to drop a like down below once again it's super appreciated i also want to mention quickly that we are running a giveaway tomorrow of a few unity assets that will be that will be lasting a few days i am going to upload an announcement video of that that tomorrow as well so make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on it also we have a discord server which is in fact where we are going to host the giveaway itself and the server itself is not just about the channel it's generally about development game development especially um, so if you want to meet like-minded people share your projects promote your youtube videos whatever it might be make sure to check it out by clicking the link in the description and on a final note before ending the video i would also like to give a huge thank you to richard stans Cupola, G.I. Jojo, Tron Bear MCP, and everyone else supporting the channel on Patreon. Thanks to your support, I am able to upload more frequently and produce higher quality content for you guys. If you would also like to support the channel and help us grow as a community, feel free to click the link in the description that says Patreon and you'll be taken to full information page about it. Now, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll probably see you in the weekend too since I'm gonna be uploading, but I hope you enjoy your weekend. Have a good Friday. Peace out.